Hello friends, today I am going to talk about PMLE or polymorphous light eruption. It is a type of photo induced skin rash that generally occurs over sun exposed areas of our skin after a certain period of intense exposure to sunlight. A very striking feature that you will find in this disease and that will also help you identify it that is PMLE particularly occurs after a delay of at least 6 hours to few days following the exposure to high intensity sunlight. Exposure can be of 10 minutes to several hours but if no further exposure to ultraviolet ray occurs then it usually resolves within 7 to 10 days without forming any scar. As the season progresses your skin may become less sensitive and symptoms may appear in less severe manner. It most commonly occurs in age between 21 to 30 years and it is more common in females. Now talking about some clinical features of PMLE. In polymorphous light eruption, the skin rashes are polymorphous, which means it can be of various characters, sizes and shapes. But in a single patient, only one type of skin rash is seen. In my practice, I have seen patients most commonly present with groups of whitish or skin colored or reddish tiny bumps over sun exposed areas, larger elevated lesions which is also called splugs or fluid filled bumps or vesicles are seen less frequently. Back of the neck, upper back, chest, outer side of upper arm and forearm are most commonly affected sites. Face and uh, hands are less commonly involved as they become tolerant to exposure of sunlight from childhood. Now the question is why PMLE occurs? In simple terms, when ultraviolet ray falls on skin, there is some changes that occur in the skin. This change can trigger our immune system and an immune reaction occurs which causes the disease. You see, even ultraviolet ray falls on our skin, it causes an immune suppression also. In patients with PMLE, this ultraviolet ray induced immune suppression also gets inhibited. It's a part of the disease process, but uh, this also gives us a good news and that is patients with PMLE are less susceptible to skin cancer due to this particular process. In simple words, if you have PMLE, then you have less chance of getting skin cancer. See, it's a chronic disease which appears intermittently for years. In some cases, the severity decreases with time and may get cured after years. But the prognosis is usually good because many cases are self-limiting and in severe symptomatic cases the response to treatment is generally very good. In my practice I have seen that most patients get cured only by applying a single cream for few days. Another important aspect is taking prevention which is done by photo protection. Physical photo protection means using umbrella, hats and protective clothings like uh, full sleeves, shirts for men's, protect your back of the neck by using a scarf. For women they should wear blouses and dresses that covers the whole upper back and chest. Along with that, uh, when you visit your dermatologist, he or she will suggest a proper sunscreen for you as well. Lastly, I will suggest that you do visit a dermatologist if you are facing such problem and never try to self-medicate yourself. And if this video seems helpful and informative to you, then you just like, share and subscribe. Take care, be healthy and thank you once again.